Iron Hand ZX has probably been the most hyped up card by the community out of the new Paradox Rift set. And while it likely won't be the face of its own new archetype, there are plenty of pre-existing decks that could fit an Iron Hand ZX or two into their lists. Today we'll look at Chi and Pao EX Bax Caliber with the brand new Iron Hands EX added in. The deck list we'll be reviewing and I will play games with on PTCG Live comes from Daichi Shimada from the Japanese Elite for Invitational Tournament. This decklist builds off of previously successful Chi and Pal EX decklists, playing three Chi and Pal EX, a 302 line of Bax Caliber with three rare candy for evolving, and a 2-2 line of Bibberal for that industrious incisor's ability to keep your hand refilled turn after turn. We're playing Iron Hands EX in here for the Ampy Very Much attack, which does 120 damage and takes an extra prize card when it knocks a Pokemon out. This should make Chi and Pal EX's Lost Zone Box matchup go from unfavored to favored just like that. And since Iron Hands EX needs lightning energy, the deck is playing two lightning energy and one of the new earthen vessel item card. And with earthen vessel, you can get two waters, two lightning, or one of each. So it's a very diverse energy searching card. Daichi has included a Drapion V into this deck list, which is typically a Mew V Max counter, since its wild style ability allows it to attack for free against a Mew V Max deck that has a full board of Fusion Strike Pokemon. Note that it can also be used against Single Strike or Rapid Strike decks, but you probably won't need it against those, but it's definitely worth keeping in mind. Additionally, Daichi included Counter Catcher in this list, which isn't exactly a new card, but it was reprinted into Standard with the release of Paradox Rift. Instead of playing Cross Switchers and Canceling Cologne, this list has the Iron Hands EX package, which should be as good or better against Lost Zone Box and Guard of REX decks compared to the Cross Switcher Canceling Cologne option, which was a bit more combo reliant. Before we hop into some gameplay on PTCG Live with this deck, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon TCG content, and you can check out all of my wonderful sponsors and affiliates in the description down below, like PokeCollect.com for sealed products and mystery box items, PotownStore.com for Pokemon TCG Live code cards, Dragon Shield Sleeves, where you can now use my code to save 5% off on Dragon Shield Sleeves, the best card sleeves in the game. Into the AM Apparel for comfortable and passionate clothing. PokemonCard.io for deck lists, community forums, and news articles. And also don't forget about Metify. You can become a Metify member over there to support me and unlock exclusive articles, videos, and coupons every month for Pokemon TCG coaching, which I offer several different types of over there on Metify. So if you're interested in any of that or just support Supporting my channel, check it out in the description down below, as well as a PTCG Live export of this list down below so you can start playing it right away. Now let's get into some gameplay with Daichi Shimada's Chi and Pal EX Bax Caliber deck with Iron Hands EX. Uh, first game with the deck and we're starting Drapion V. I, <laughs> I wanted to play with exactly Daichi Shimada's deck list and I almost replaced the Drapion V with something else because I don't want this to happen. And I was like, no, we'll just stick with his list. Daichi knows what he's doing. We'll hit some Muse on the ladder, and uh, there we go, starting with the Drapion. So let's start things off with a Heavy Ball, find out what's prized, make this real easy. Two Waters, a Candy, a Bibberol. We get the Bidoof out, so we won't have to battle pass for a Bidoof. We know we have one Bibberol prize. We're playing against Roaring Moon. Let's go ahead and battle pass for a Chi and Pal and a Radiant Greninja. And then we'll also go ahead and just grab double Fridgies. We'll get a one, eight, uh, one retreat. Actually, there's no reason to get the, uh, the two retreat ones, I don't think, because we're playing against Roaring Moon. And then we'll Concealed Cards. I suppose I could have been like super duper safe and gotten a Manaphy, but my bench space is already going to be constricted because... Constricted? Restricted. My bench space is going to be restricted because I started with this Drapion. Um, and then, yeah, I don't want to send up Chi and Pal, but I could just escape rope and send up a single prizer. So that, uh, yeah so that Roaring Moon isn't knocking out a two-prize Pokemon just for free. 
So I believe I'll send up a Phrygy. That's fine. And um, our next turn should go swimmingly so long as they're not playing the version with like four energy switch and water energy so that they can Moonlight Shuriken on turn one. That would be awful. Earthen Vessel dumping a dark energy and getting two dark energies. Okay, looking pretty good on uh, not playing the water version. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, there's a version of Roaring Moon that plays a few water energies because you can use Professor Seda's Vitality to attach any type of energy to your ancient Pokemon. So you could attach water, water, and then play two energy switches to put those energies onto Radiant Greninja, then manually attach to Radiant Greninja and get a Moonlight Shirk and pretty much out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, I haven't actually played that version myself, so uh, if you've played that version of Roaring Moon, or you would like to see me play that version of Roaring Moon, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know how you feel about me having some unedited content on the channel. Does this take away from the quality of the channel for you? Um, because I was splitting my content between my main channel, Celios Network, and then a second channel, Celios 2. But I'm not sure if uh, that's the route I want to go anymore. I might just put everything on Celio's network, as long as it's not uh, kind of downgrading the overall quality for my viewers. So we see them play a Pokestop and then play Iono. I did have Bax Calibur in my hand. I did have Pokegear in my hand, but this new hand is incredible. I'm very happy with the cards we got off of that Iono. So we have Bibarel, we have Irida. We already have rare candy. I have earthen vessel, superior energy retrieval. I have everything here. This is really good. Um, and the opponent played Iono, which is definitely not Professor Seda's vitality. So it looks like they're not going to be attacking this turn either. They'll probably try to just switch into more Peko. Ooh, okay, Dark Patch. I was thinking maybe Dark Patch energy switch to more Peko, and then they could knock out Frigi with a single prizer, but they're leaving Roaring Moon in the active. And that is incredible for me. All right, so let's see. We're always going to evolve the Bibberol down. That is for sure. And Irida can get out Baxcalibur. I want to get the Baxcalibur out of my deck before I poke a stop. I'm not really sure if I'm going to need to poke a stop for that matter. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and Irida. We want to get out the Baxcalibur. Uh, we definitely have the rare candy already, so that is good. Uh, we really just need energies. So, let's see. We candy down the Bex Caliber. We earthen vessel away the second Irida for two waters. We ultra ball away the waters for nothing, and then Bibberl, and then superior energy retrieval. Hmm. Actually, we can get two Bex Calibers this turn. That might be the way to go here. So... We got the Baxcalibur out of the deck. Now I'm going to Earthen Vessel. I want to maximize my Bibberol draw. So Earthen Vessel for two energies. And we're going to Rare Candy the Benched Frigibax. We can Super Cold. Actually, we're not going to Super Cold yet because we have the Superior Energy Retrieval in hand. So I want to Ultra Ball away these two. Got the second backs caliber. This thins out the deck, also thins out our hand. Um, I don't mind paying the extra retreat on the backs caliber, and we'll Bibberl before Pokestop. Okay, now these Ultra Balls aren't going to do anything. We need so many energies to knock out this Roaring Moon. Pokestop, Superior Energy Retrieval, and we also dump an energy. So we can Superior Energy Retrieval for four energies. Okay, let's see. So, super energy retrieval away this and this. Get all four energies. We can attach two active retreat, and we're going to dump some energy, so the extra two on the retreat doesn't really matter because we can just get these energies back with the superior energy retrieval. I figured something like that would happen. That's why I didn't mind evolving this back caliber to thin out the deck and thin out the hand. Um, I know I don't need lightning energies, so we can go ahead and concealed cards away the lightning energy super rod does not help okay so let's super cold we'll go super cold here here and then if i retreat those two away and i shivery chill for two energies that will give me 
one water energy in my hand, two energies from the superior energy retrieval. That would be five, so I can knock out the Roaring Moon this turn. Perfect. So we're going to retreat the Baxcalibur, and we're going to Shivery Chill. As long as there's two more water energies, which there definitely should be. We do play a little less than this deck used to, just because of the... Uh, the lightning energy is being involved now. So I'm going to superior energy retrieval away. Irida and Ultra Ball. And I guess we'll grab the lightning. It can be fodder for uh, concealed cards later on. And then we're going to go ahead and super cold down five energies, which will do 300 damage when we discard them all with Hailblade. And we'll be taking the first knockout here on the Roaring Moon. So Hailblade for 300 damage. And I'm sure the Rare Candy, the second Bex Caliber in the active before um, before attaching energy or treating for just one might have looked uh, might have looked like just a misplay, just straight up a misplay. But because the discard pile acts as almost like a secondary deck for our energies in this deck between the Super Rods plus Shivery Chill and the Superior Energy Retrievals. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe I was going to have the five energies in this case, regardless if I attached one and retreated or if I attached two and retreated because I was always going to superior energy retrieval again. And it would have just been a matter of if I get back one energy and had the extra in my hand, or if I could just get back two energies from the discard pile. Uh, so uh, to my calculations, it did not matter if I evolved that second Bax caliber before or after but i actually think it was better to evolve it and not retreat it for just one while it was a uh, friggy Bax because i got extra cards out of my deck and out of my hand this way so from here i am in the lead and so long as i can just get chi and pals down every turn when i need them i will keep the lead i will just take a knockout every turn and I'm already, uh, I, I have essentially set the tempo here for the game. So all I have to do is not miss an attack and I win the game. They'll bring up their next Roaring Moon EX. 290 HP is pretty chunky, but not much of a match for Chi and Pal. Calamity Storm to 20 KO and they will go down to four prizes. Like I said, we'll just go back and forth, but I'm the one who set the pace here. So... I should uh, be the victor at the end of it all. We'll send up Radiant Greninja. And we're going to check our discard. We didn't poke a stop away any Chi and Pals. And I already know I didn't discard any Chi and Pals. I'm sorry, I didn't prize any Chi and Pals. So we'll go ahead and Irida for a superior energy retrieval and a Chi and Pal. Bench Chi and Pal. And we'll attach retreat this lightning energy to get Radiant Greninja out of the active. Promote Chi and Pal. Let's see how many water energies. We have five water energies in the discard pile. I have one energy in my hand. Um, I don't need rare candies anymore, and I'll never need a counter catcher because I am going to be in the lead. So we'll go ahead and superior energy retrieval. Four waters, and we can also shivery chill. I think there should be one in the deck. There is one in the deck. And then we're going to super cold five energies to the active Chi and Pal. And let's see. I can also super cold one more energy down and then super raw Chi and Pal and one energy, but that doesn't seem worth it. So I will go ahead and super cold this one energy to Greninja just because that's going to be my one retreat pivoter every time a Chi and Pal gets KO'd. And then it also doesn't hurt to just Industrious Incisors. I'm not going to play down the Pokestop, obviously, because my opponent needs the Pokestop for Calamity Storms. And then we'll Hailblade for 300. So, uh, yeah, we'll just take all five off the active, leave that energy on the Greninja. 300 damage with Hailblade knocks out the Roaring Moon EX. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're, like, impervious to everything here. We have another Chi and Pal EX in our deck. I have Bibberal. I have Double Backs Caliber. I have an energy ready on Radiant Greninja to retreat with. So all we need next turn is superior energy retrieval. And I guess we would also need a super rod to because uh, we can only get four energies with the superior energy retrieval and it takes five to knock out a Roaring Moon with Ancient Capsule on it. But let's see. They are down 
three ancient capsules, so they probably don't have a fourth. So we can just knock it out for four energies. So we already have game in our hand in that case. Well, actually, we would have game anyway because we have Super Rod, so we could Shivery Chill for more energies. Uh, but I'm assuming maybe they could judge where I own us here, and that could change something. Roxanne, there you go. Roxanne, very interesting. I guess since they're an aggressive deck, they want a Roxanne instead of like Iono because Iono would have put them down to four instead of up to six. Um, so I get the Nest Ball and I have Bibberol. And there's also Pokestop out, but they're going to discard that with Calamity Storm. So should be fine, especially since we had good cards in our hand and they didn't get Iono to the bottom. Instead, they got shuffled. So we'll nest ball for Chi and Pal, and then Industrious Incisors, and then go from there and see what's up. So we'll promote Radiant Greninja. We draw Battle Pass, which is a dead card. So that is definitely unfortunate to see because I can't get that out of my deck or out of my hand. So Industrious Incisors is going to draw an, uh, one less card now because of that. So Industrious Incisors for three, and let's see what happens. We get Pokegear, we get Iono, so an Irida would win the game, because Irida for superior energy retrieval, but we're down all four Iridas, and so I'm pretty sure we don't have any supporters in the deck, yeah we have zero supporters in the deck, so our only play here is Iono. But this could also stop the opponent from having a gust if we miss the knockout. We need superior energy retrieval, we get Super Rod. Oh no, Super Rod is not the card we wanted. So let's play Heavy Ball to burn it. This is one less card in our deck. And then Super Rod, one, two, three, four, five, six energies in the discard pile. So it wouldn't hurt to put two waters in there, but we would rather wait till next turn. So I'm just going to pass with Radiant Greninja and see if the opponent has a gust effect. They got us good with the Roxanne. They have Luminion V for the boss. They did it. Okay, GG. And that's how you lose to Roaring Moon EX, everyone. They hit you with the Roxanne. That was really good. They uh, they did exactly what they needed to do. They I had the pace set in my favor, but they slowed me down for one turn. So there you go. Yo, these sleeves are sick that the opponent's using. I don't think I have those. All right, we're starting Drapion again. Lovely. And we're playing against the Serena EX deck, it looks like. And they just go Bond Suite, attach Grass Energy, and pass. Uh, let's see. I think I'll start with Nest Ball for Radiant Greninja. Yeah, because we need to draw cards. And we'll conceal the way the energy. Pokestop and Max Caliber. Play Pokestop. Please give us a VIP. We get VIP. We'll check our prizes as well. We have a Bidoof in there. Uh, two energies of candy. Okay, that's fine. Battle pass for a Fridgy. Fridgy and a Pal, I think. We'll bench a Bidoof. So next turn, we'll Ultra Ball for a Bibberol. We have a lot of cards in our hand. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Oh, they play the Toad Scroll that stops us from getting cards out of our discard pile. It shuts off superior energy retrieval. That's certainly a problem for this deck. But, um... Oh, and there's Serena EX on turn two. Okay. The opponent is cooking, and Icicle Soul my Chi and Pal down to 30 HP. All right. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So we're going to Pokestop. We're going to Ultra Ball. We need to get some of these cards out of my hand. So let's Ultra Ball away Bidoof and Energy. Because then we could Super Rod the Bidoof, or do we just get rid of the Bidoof and Super Rod for Bibberol? Then this energy is left over that we can conceal cards with it if we want. So let's grab the Bibberol. We have Bax Caliber in the hand. So if I attach and then Industrious Incisors and then Pokestop, that's probably the best thing I can do. And I'm trying to... Uh, my plan is I want a Moonlight Shurik and the Toad Scroll because that's actually the, the Toad School before it becomes a Toad Scroll. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we'll attach active Industrious Incisors. 
we get the candy, beautiful. Then we'll also nest ball another Frigi. And how many energies do we have? We have one energy in the discard. Okay, Pokestop, can you discard some energies for us? Escape rope and one energy. The escape rope doesn't help because I want to retreat this energy off of Drapion. So, but if I super energy retrieval for two energies, I can concealed cards one away. Uh, this is rough. Or I, okay, here's here's the deal. So we're going to escape rope into Chi and Pal and we don't have to Moonlight Shuriken. We can just hail blade the Toad School. I think that's what we do. So we'll just shivery chill and take a very safe KO on the Toad School. And we'll also make sure to get this energy off of the Drapion V so it's in the discard pile. So uh, let's make sure this doesn't resist water or anything silly like that. Yeah, we'll just do the 60 to it. All right, so let's see what they can do here. They can certainly attach one more grass energy and knock out my Chi and Pal. That would be the easiest thing for them to do. Pokestop for double Ultra Ball. They also mill a path to the peak. Super Rod, the Toad School. Yeah, they definitely want that Toad School set up, but they're actually level balling for a Bounce Suite. And now Ultra Ball probably for that toad school or something to draw them cards yeah it's the toad school but do they have mana fee where's the mana fee that's what i want to know if they don't get mana fee we're just going to shuriken those things ultra ball is this for the mana fee this could be big they got rid of jirachi and serena if they're playing jirachi they gotta be playing mana fee right let's see the mana fee they're taking a while it's another toad school not mana fee not mana fee okay Wave goodbye to your toads. So we're going to take out the toads, and then we probably just have to knock out two Serena EXs, essentially taking seven prize cards by the end of it all. All right, so we'll go ahead and super cold two energies to Radiant Greninja, and then Industrious for three. And Countercatcher does work for me if I want to use it. But I feel like that would not... Be, uh, that wouldn't really do much, but we could save the counter catcher for later. I'm gonna need a Chi and Pal next turn, but I can always get that next turn. How many energies are in the discard? We do have four. I think I'm gonna keep that counter catcher around. And I'm gonna get rid of the gear and the ultra ball. We'll go ahead and conceal cards one of these away. We get an Irida. Beautiful. Chi and Pal. Plus, what else do we want here? We could get Super Rod. Super Rod's probably fine. Um, I can, because that means I can go ahead and Super Rod some energies back into the deck so that Shivery Chill can get value later on. And we'll attach here and then Bench Chi and Pal and then Super Cold. Get this all set up because they're, neither of their attacks can one-shot Chi and Pal EX, so I'm really not afraid of putting my Chi and Pal down. And I'm not going to use the Pocus Stop because I don't want to get rid of Energies or Chi and Pal. And then I'll Moonlight Shuriken knocking out both of the Toad Schools because Toad Scroll will literally just shut down my deck. We can't have that happening. Uh, it makes my superior energy retrievals do literally nothing. So we're going to stop that from happening for sure. Moonlight Shark and both of them. Oh, wait, there's more. Panic Mask. <laughs> I forgot about this cute little card. There is. So here is a reason to not bench my Chi and Pal, but I have another Chi and Pal in the deck now. I actually have two Chi and Pals in the deck, so that shouldn't be an issue, question mark. So let's see. I can... Moonlight Shuriken, Serena, and Bond Suite. But then I don't have an open bench spot, so that could be an issue. Oh my goodness, another Toad School. They really want this to happen. Well, guess what, buddy? I'm going to knock out your Toad School again. And I'm going to put 90 damage on Serena EX. So we can actually use this. Actually, Real quick, let's see how many energies. There's only two energy in the, the discard pile. So I would prefer not to use a superior energy retrieval just for two energies, but it is what it is. So we're going to dump, get the two energies, manually attach just the one, Bibberol for three, and 
then we Moonlight Shuriken, 90 Serena EX, and 90 Toad School. They can heal their so they can heal that down to uh 60 damage with Trop Kick, which is what they'll use to knock out my Reading Greninja, but if they knock out Reading Greninja, I just get the next Chi and Pal out of my deck. And then I win. Rare Candy, another Serena EX. This is why we keep around the counter catcher just in case they go down to one prize from here. And then, uh, oh wait, they used Icicle Soul, huh? Okay, well my counter catcher isn't doing anything anymore because they're not at uh, more prizes. So I think what I have to do is if I, or they, they're at more prizes, not less prizes. So if I retreat, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm going to attack with Drapion V, essentially. That's my plan here. All right, so I have an energy in my hand. Let's Ultra Ball, see what's left in the deck. We have, we do have energy in the deck, so that's good. I'm not gonna take anything with the Ultra Ball. We're going to, hmm. I have Chi and Pal in my hand now, so I feel pretty okay about Pokestopping, but I also have to decide what I want to attack this Serena with and I think it just has to be the Drapion because I can also knock out my own Pokemon to make room for the Chi and Pal if needed. I just need to get more energy for the Drapion. So we're going to Super Cold, Water Energy to Drapion, and then Bibberol for two. Earthen Vessel, very nice. We'll go ahead and Earthen Vessel or we can manually attach one and then before i attach i also have to see what i'm discarding for superior energy retrieval so let's go ahead and poke a stop we get rid of three cards okay so we'll retreat this superior energy retrieval i think the counter catcher is done now manually attach one and then super cold and i have to specifically ko my own radiant greninja with dynamic tail this way I have another bench spot. As long as they don't like echoing horn me or something. But we'll do 190 here. Knock out my Radiant Greninja. And I think I should be able to win from here. It's definitely tricky though. They're putting up a really good fight. This is an interesting game. They have Rufflet, but I think it's going to be too late for the Hisuian Bravery. Level ball for the Toad School. They... <laughs> Uh, and then path to the peak, but of course I have uh, I have Bibberol to help me out here. Okay, that's gonna be game. Superior energy retrieval, wonderful. We'll bench Chi and Pal. We'll super cold energy draw up, so I have something to discard with superior energy retrieval. Retreat. One two. Go into Chi and Pal. This Chi and Pal does not have damage on it, so it can attack the Panic Masked Serena. We'll get back all of our energy and we have a ton of energy on the board i just have to super cold and energy to my chi and pal ex and the active and the opponent scoops because i have knockout on the serena ex gg all right won the coin flip going first here we go please don't give me a drapion v start well we're not out of the woods yet that's a mulligan could still very well start with drapion v okay we have our choice of mid to bad starters I think... Okay, I'm going first, so I don't have to be afraid of anything. And I have a scape rope in my hand as well. So, in that case, I suppose I'll start Manaphy. And if we're not against a deck where I need Manaphy, I can just leave it up there to sack it. Our opponent starts double Toad School. That is horrifying because of the, the Toad Scroll that stops Superior Energy Retrieval. That is... Th this is like top 10 scenes before anime disaster okay let's bench a chi and pal uh i really want to battle vip pass and hold on to my ultra balls so let's go for it focus stop battle vip pass please it's a super rod and we lost to Bax caliber uh, okay so we have Friggy. that's the good news i have escape rope so i could shivery chill to help me out with these discarding uh decisions so we'll go ahead and switch into this and shivery chill because i'm thinking that i need to get a bidoof now and then a bibberal next turn that's like my out here to getting to play the game so bidoof next turn we ultra ball for bibberal i'll hold on to this meeting now we can probably attach 
Yeah, I think we can attach here. So the opponent bench is assuming Lilligant. Looks like we're playing against likely a Toad Scroll EX deck, but you have to think that they've added the new Toad Scroll from Paradox Rift that just shuts down Chi and Pao. So because, oh, and they have Manaphy. So now I can't shuriken both of the Toad Scrolls. This could be awful. This could be really, really bad. That Toad Scroll is so scary when you're playing Chi and Pao. And what is this? It's a Chudurubi. Who would have thunk I would hit two Toad Scroll decks while recording Chi and Pal gameplay? All right, I guess it's time for Iron Hands EX. And where is he? In the discard pile. Right where he belongs. Not really. I, I kind of need it right now. Okay, so let's see. I want to empty my hand down to zero and then Bibberol for five. So let's go ahead and Shivery Chill. Get... Ultra Ball. We'll keep an Ultra Ball in the hand, actually. So we can Ultra Ball away two and then Super Rod and keep the Ultra Ball, or I can Ultra Ball away one and the Ultra Ball. We'll get two energies and we'll end up keeping this Ultra Ball. And this is for the Bibberl. And then I'm going to Super Rod hands, backs, and an energy. And do I want an Artisan? What do I want on my bench? I want Raiding Greninja and hands, and neither of those are a non-EX Pokemon, so I'm not going to use Artisan. Industrious Incisors, hopefully we can get some playable cards here. I get Irida. That can get Candy backs, but then I don't have Lightning Energies for the hands. And I can't get superior energy retrieval, so I really don't have any energy for anything right now. Which, uh, yeah, it's as bad as it sounds. So let's Irida and at least get that Bax Caliber down. I could also get a different Pokemon. And then Ultra Ball away Battle Pass and Pokegear. So we can get this and Candy. Good thing I'm playing two super rods to get around to those, uh, to get around the toad scroll that is, uh, <laughs> putting impending doom on my game. Also, good thing I super rodded that backs back because I prized one backs caliber. Rare candy, the backs, and then we'll put down Radiant Greninja. And not gonna super rod, not gonna artisan, we'll just pass. Pretty mediocre turn two, but there also wasn't a lot I could do because of the Manaphy on their bench. Well, there was a lot. I could just Iron Hands and be very much active for two prizes. That would have been perfect, but I think it was asking a lot. Uh, so next turn, uh, as long as nothing happens, as long as no unfortunate events happen to my Bibberol, we should be okay, but... Um, yeah, Chi and Pal EX can be pretty clunky. You know, it, it looks very good on paper. The Iron Hands EX definitely helps it out by uh, making its single prize matchups better. But uh, it's it's still a little bit clunky clunky. They get Hisui and Lilligant, and then they're going to use Hisui and Lilligant's V-Star power. They get to search for up to five grass Pokemon and five grass energy cards in combination. And this is where they put down the Toad Scroll that I've been talking so much about. There it is. There it is. It says that superior energy retrieval, no worky anymore. It's going to happen any day now. So I need them to take a prize card so I can counter catcher knockout Manaphy with, uh, with Iron Hands and then use Moonlight Shuriken. But I have to do all this while not superior energy retrievaling my energies back. There's Toad Scroll EX in the active. They finally fixed the bug that this had going on. Uh, so they can do up to 200 and no, no, they can do up to 240 damage. 40 times five. Oh, they could, yeah, they could do up to 280 damage with Colony Rush, but it's pretty difficult to get there. And now they have no draw support on their board. So, uh, in summation, their deck kind of sucks, but this thing, Slime Mold Colony, uh, I cannot get my energies from the discard to my hand. So that's an issue. Um, I have Chi and Pal in my hand and I really don't want it in my hand because I, like I mentioned several times, I wanted to use, uh, Iron Hands, but looks like I might just have to start knocking out this Toad Scroll EX and seeing if my opponent can actually even do anything else. So I'm going to Super Rod 
these energies back into the deck because I want to draw energies and then Chivalry Chill for more energies. And I think I'm just going to bench this because I I just want to draw cards. So Industrious Incisors, I can't use the Super Energy Retrievals, but we do get one Water Energy. And I can discard this Lightning. I would love to see an Earthen Vessel off of this or even just some more energies. I get neither of those. Um, well, Shivery Chill. Now what I could do is I could attach to this Chi and Pal and then retreat and get two more out of the deck. But that would also mean I just have four energy. Excuse me, I would have four energies, which is what I have already. But I could put a fresh G and Pal out there. Uh, but I would also be putting more energies into my discard pile, which is not good. Because I can't get them back because of because of the Toad Scroll. Um, they are only doing 120 damage to me, though. Okay, so let's super cold. We'll put two there and we'll put two here. And I'm just going to Hailblade for 120 because I couldn't knock it out. They evolve into another Toad Scroll EX and just Colony Rush for 120. Yeah, they have no on board like draw support. So, uh, yeah, we'll send out Chi and Pal. And we'll shivery chill. And I have to discard three energies for this one. Hmm. They're gonna attack with another toad scroll, it would seem. I think it's best to just bench another Chi and Pal. Yeah, we'll bench Chi and Pal. Let me make sure I didn't discard Countercatcher yet this game. I did not. Okay, so we'll super cold some energies down. I think it's in my best interest to get rid of one super energy retrieval. So I can draw more with Bibberil. Still no counter catcher, but this has a chance to get it. Hopefully I don't discard a bunch of Iridas. I did discard an energy though. So Hailblade will bring me down to... Uh, crap. Let's see, one, two... Yeah, this is rough because I'm not sure how much I, how much more I can really do with this thing here. And next turn, so if I wait and I don't knock out anything... <gasps> Okay, we'll go ahead and take a KO. This is actually really frustrating. So we'll knock this out, but now Countercatcher won't work anymore. And I'm just about out of energy. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have one water energy remaining. So I would have to let them take a KO. Drawn to counter catcher. Yeah, this is this is a mess. This is an absolute mess. It's pretty ridiculous how much that toad scroll shuts down this deck because of the reliance on superior energy retrieval. I think they have to three shot my Chi and Pal, but I can't even do anything about it because of the toad scroll. Oh, thank goodness they're misplaying because I need the water energy on the bench Chi and Pal. I lose if I lose that water energy on the bench Chi and Pal, I think. And they're going to knock out a single prizer. Oh my goodness. You can always count on somebody misplaying. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should have one more water energy in the deck and I can't risk discarding it with Pokestop, so I just have to pass. This is beautiful. You can always count on the just grotesque throw. They just passed a Hail Mary with this Bibberol. My goodness. Like, I can't even draw cards. My hand is dead. Just a bunch of cards that I can't really play. Could play the Superior Energy Retrievals, but of course, to no effect. So, we might actually be able to win here. After they knock out this Bibberol, I'm going to play Nest Ball to see if I even have the Countercatcher in my deck. I should have searched for it. Maybe I did search for it earlier. This game is taking a toll on my mental health. Not Pokemon, but this specific game of Pokemon because of this Toad Scroll. I didn't think I would see Toad Scroll twice while laddering with Chain Pal in, in like a span of an hour. All right, attach. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I need to have Counter Catcher and I need to have... Um, I need to have a water energy in my deck. Oh, they're just going to leave my Bibberol there. Excuse me? Are they going to try to deck me out? I'm not going to even heavy ball to look at my prizes because I want to have as many cards as possible if they're trying to deck me out. Oh, now that's just, that's just rude. They're playing their own superior energy retrieval. That is rude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Spring Bloom. 
Did they trap the Bibberol up here to just wait until they get a bot? Oh my god, they have so many energies. I didn't even realize they discarded that many energies over the course of the game to get back with superior energy retrieval. Yeah, there's the boss. Okay. Yep, that's my last energy. You got me. Unless, how much retreat does all this stuff have? That has two. Do they have energies left? How many energies does a deck like this play? That's the question to ask. Does my win condition counter catcher and deck them out? That's my win condition because Shivery Chill will show us. I have one lightning energy and zero waters in the deck. So counter catcher and uh, hope they don't have energies, but I think that's pretty hopeless. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe we just lost to this awful deck. Yeah, Spring Bloom it down. Everybody gets energy. You get energy. You get energy. Okay. Alright. Alright, they're BMing now. I'm just gonna scoop. GG, Toad Scroll deck. GG. We're not going through all this. Oh my goodness. Well, if you guys enjoy watching Chi and Pao lose, that was probably a very good video for you to watch. Um, the Chi and Pao deck is good. Uh, I don't think I like Daichi's specific list because I don't want uh, the Drapion V. And I still think I like Cross Switchers, even with the Iron Hands EX in the deck. Let me know what you think about that, and I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.